Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm so excited for today's video and actually it's a two-parter because I asked you guys on Instagram which palettes you guys wanted to see me use because it's been a minute since I moved and I finally found the items that I had purchased and you guys told me that you wanted to see the Odin's Eye release. So there's two palettes, which means we did two different days worth of looks. The first day we used the Stone and Rock palette, and then today we used the Jewels and Gem palette. So definitely watch both of those, especially if you want to see what the color stories are all about. We did some swatches, and I'm really enjoying this look, but I also enjoyed what I did yesterday. Before we jump into it though, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications and new videos, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see how I got this look as well as what I did yesterday, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so the palettes I'm trying to use today are because I posted on my Insta stories and I asked you guys what you wanted to see me use. Because in the shuffle of moving and packing up my filming room, I forgot where I packed the items that I purchased and needed to review. And when I finally found them, there were just so many and I needed some help. So you guys posted and responded on my Insta stories. And today we are gonna be talking about the new release from Odin's Eye. We have the Stone and rock palette and then we have the jewels and gem palette both of these have really pretty artwork they have the female face on the front of them but they have different color stories so when you look inside the jewels and gems palette this one has more of like the blue green and purple tones look at those shimmers they're absolutely stunning and then when you look at the stone and rock palette you have more of the earthy tones with like the mossy greens, the deep browns into black, and even these shimmers are quite stunning. I'm really excited to play around with these. I'm gonna use one for today and then use the other one tomorrow. So you will get two looks, two different palettes. Now, I'm not quite sure which one I wanna use, but looking at them, mm, so the Stone and Rock palette, which is the green earthy tones, this one definitely matches my shirt, but I also feel like the Jewels and Gems, yes, Jewels and Gems, Jewels and Gem, there's no S. This one could also be used off of this shirt too because you've got the purples, you got some mauvey pinks, a mauvey pink, and there looks like some duochromes. I think today I wanna to play around with the Jewels and Gem palette. I also think this one was actually shouted out in one of them. A lot of the responses were the Odin's Eye. There was one specific one, and let me pull it up, that I think said Jewels and Gem. No, Stone and Rock is the one that was shouted out exclusively. Then I think today we will play with the Stone and Rock palette. Really like this. I wanna swatch both of them, play around with them, and see what they're both about. All right, so let me go ahead and swatch them and make a determination, because I pretty much think I'm gonna do this one. I mean, it would kind of correlate with the shirt, but let's see what this is all about. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use the Stone and Rock palette and looking at the shades, the swatches, looking at what I have to work with, I am really excited for this because there are some stunning earthy tones in here and then the pops of green shimmers and even a couple like shifts. So the second shade, Frenzy, looks like a green to blue iridescent shift. And then you've got Passion, which is beautiful, like mossy green shade. Now my favorite one of all the green tones is Cheerfulness. This one looks like it has mint green to kind of like a limey green shift in it. And then Gleefulness, that gold. That was absolutely stunning. There are some deeper, darker shades like lightheartedness is that really pretty brown. It has bluish purple looking glitter and then even splendid. That graphite to silver black shimmer is phenomenal. So I'm really excited to play around with this. I feel like I can get some fun out of here. Kind of thinking I need some earthy green toned smokiness. I don't know. I'm going to prime my eyes and we will jump into this palette and see what we can come up with. Okay, 
I think I have a way forward and I'm really excited to be diving into these. Now, I think we're gonna do some brown tones with a shimmer of green. I think that's the way forward. Okay, my first shade I'm gonna go into Jubilance. This is just gonna go into the crease and give us just a beginning shape. You guys, the weather here is kind of crappy. It's like the sun is trying to come out, but there are like thunder and rain clouds. It's just kind of like, mm -mm, not today. If the weather clears up, I think we're going to go to one of the local breweries and sit out on the patio. There's one that's like less than a mile from us. That's really nice. But right now the weather is like, mm -mm. we sat outside last night and just had a fire in the Chimara. Chimara? That wasn't too bad. It was kind of a breezy night last night. Not super breezy, but cool enough to sit outside. All right, and I think I'm also going to take it just right down here to give a little bit of that color shadowing on the outside of my darker, deeper shade. Okay, I'm really liking that, and I kind of have my angle coming up too. Okay. So now I have brown in the crease. I'm thinking I want to use the deeper green for just right here and then add a smidge of the black shade passage. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the shade Elevated. So if you've never heard of Odin's Eye before, they are an indie brand out of Sweden. And a lot of their palettes, I, I say a lot, all of their palettes, are around Norse mythology. I actually didn't look up the story for this palette. I know there was a jewelry collection that was released with it. I didn't buy any of the jewelry. It's not that I wasn't attracted to it, it's that I was in the middle of moving and I just, I couldn't bring myself to add any more to my collection right now. But I was very intrigued by the palettes themselves. I just got a little like smokiness and now I'm gonna go into my compacted smudge brush deepen it up a little bit before I add in some of my shimmers. So we're gonna go deeper right here. And I like to pack it on before I start blending out the edges. I just want to bring it like closer to the middle of the eye. I did have a decent morning. I woke up and decided I was gonna do a little bit of yoga. I haven't really talked about it too much. But I have had some back problems and I've been trying to figure out like what the heck has been wrong. But I had an MRI done and I have the results back, but I haven't been able to get in to see my doctor. <laughs> it's like a two and a half month wait right now with military medical. And I know what the results say. I can web MD my stuff. And thankfully I do have physical therapy that I had already been in so I've already talked to like my physical therapist with recommendations I want to do but the pain management that aspect has not been handled but supposedly according to my MRIs I have moderate arthrosis so arthritis in my lower back and then a herniated disc so I have been taking it easy working out and doing stuff mostly like so today I did some yoga cardio yoga so it was like a quick paced I was sweating my butt off with an emphasis on lower back stretches. I use the Down Dog app on my laptop and I it's a lifesaver because I couldn't tell you how to do any yoga poses. I've been using it off and on for the past two, three years almost now. I actually really like it. I did that this morning just to kind of get some flexibility. But man, my back is killing me. I know I need to sit up straight because I was always told posture, posture. But man, does it hurt. Hoping... I can get in to see someone soon. All right, so I think that's a good base. I still like the light brown shade peeking through, but I think I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the shade Passage to deepen it. Just a smidge, I'm gonna use my little pencil brush from Sigma. It gives me a little bit more of a defined, precise corner. I didn't say anything about it, but there's some little pressings in the eyeshadows. I don't know if you can see them. They're just kind of showing up. And they're the little stars and gemstones. I like the tiny details. Nothing too crazy. I can see a little bit of the smokiness, which is okay. I didn't want it to like overpower the green. I just wanted it to add. Now, I think we're going to go into a brown shimmer. We're going to go into the shade Lightheartedness. This is that brown that has the purpley blue glitter in it. I'm gonna put that right in the center. I 
And now I'm gonna go into the shade Lightheartedness, which is a really pretty like mint to lime green shimmer. That's gonna go the inner corner into the center. I'm gonna go back into Lightheartedness. I'm just kind of merge them together. Now on my dry brush, I'm gonna pick up Cheerfulness, just finesse the inner corner and take it into the crease area. I really quite like that. I'm gonna go do this eye, some base products, I'll be back. Okay, we need to finish off the under eye. If you wanna know what other products I use, they are in the drop down box with clickable links, so definitely check those out. I'm really liking how my skin is looking right now. So let's go ahead, jump in and finish off the eye look. I think I'm gonna use the same shades that I did on this, just cause we're gonna stick with theme. I'm gonna go into the shade Jubilance, and that is gonna be on my small condensed packing brush. <laughs> so she's been in here this entire time. She's mostly been like on her cat tree, hanging out, like looking out the window or napping. Now she's trying to break into my closet. I don't know why, but she is just like fascinated. It's probably because she can hide in there and it's dark. I'm gonna go into the shade Elevated. Not taking it too far in because I want Jubilance to still stand out a little bit. And then into the shade Passage. Just a smidge to deepen up the outer corner. I'm really digging this grungy, smoky eye. Now, for the inner corner, I'm thinking I want to use that shade Frenzy, which is a beautiful, like, duochrome looking shade. It looked like it was a green to blue shift. Oh, that is beautiful. I did already highlight my brow bone with the same highlighter I have on my cheeks. It is the Benefit Cookie Highlighter because I knew that I wanted to use this duochrome on the inner corner and it's not really what I wanted for my brow bone. Let me go ahead, do my brows, liner, mascara, and lips, and I will be back with the final look. Okay, you guys, I'm back and this is the final look for the Stone and Rock palette from Odin's Eye. I'm really liking how my eyes turned out. They are very much a grungy, smoky eye and I love the shimmers. This palette, I am so excited to play around with it some more, especially like in the fall. I feel like I would reach for this a lot. The color story in this palette is very beautiful. The shimmers are very luscious. I absolutely like this. Let me know your thoughts, but you've also got to stay tuned because I do still have the tutorial for the Jewels and Gem palette. Okay, you guys, the second half of this video and we are playing with the Jewels and Gem palette. This palette is super cute. I love the packaging and then the color story. Look at these shades. The swatches do not disappoint. Looking at the shades, and I am so excited to try out Rhapsody. That one looks like it is a duo shift of brown to like purple and green glitter. And then even, what is it, Swoon? That one looks like it's white in the pan, but it looks iridescent, kind of like gold to orange. The shimmers, just like the Stone and Rock palette, are absolutely stunning. I'm really excited. And the mattes swatched so beautifully. The shade Elation, which is the third one in the top row, that one looks like it's one that I want to play with, as well as maybe some of the burgundies. Because yesterday we did a lot of the green shades, and I'm really excited to just see what they're all about. I'm thinking Elation, and then for sure, probably Rhapsody, but I haven't gotten past that point. <laughs> Let me go ahead, prime my eyes, and we'll see where this look takes us. Okay, you guys, I am so excited to be diving into this palette. The other day when I wore the Stone and Rock palette and then we went out to dinner, I got so many compliments on my eyeshadows and the shimmers are absolutely stunning. They just pop. So I think I have a way forward with the Jewels and Gem palette. My first shade is gonna be Elation. This is a little bit deeper than I would normally put into my crease but I think with a fluffy crease brush, we'll be able to mute it down a little bit. Probably stay a little bit more on the pinky purpley side. It's a buildable shade. I love when I can just build my shades. 
They can look like watercolors or just very intense uh, pigments. I've never said anything about it in any of my previous videos, but like watching the videos before I post them, I do notice it. So if you hear any beeping in the background, it's usually a double beep. That is my grandmother's blood glucose monitor. Um, it lets us know if she's running high or low and there's parameters. Even if she gets one point, two points above what she's allotted to be for like good blood sugar, it will still beep. But I know that I've noticed it in the background of my videos. So if you hear it, because I know some people are sensitive to noise or background noise. I have gotten used to it over time, but I know that it is in the background. So if you hear that, that's what that is. I think I'm gonna deepen that shade up a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to do any of the like the blues. I would probably wear this to work. Okay, you guys, the next shade I'm gonna go into is Sozzle, S-O-Z-Z-L-E. At first I thought I was reading that wrong. I was thinking it was like sizzle, but it is Sozzle. So I'm gonna go into my compacted smudge brush and just place that in the outer V area. that shade. I'm just deepening it up just right. I really like that. Now, I think now I'm going to go into the shade Rhapsody. This one I'm going to use on my middle finger to place it in the center because I think I also want to use another shade in the inner corner. Ooh, look how beautiful and it looks very wet and juicy. That shimmer is stunning. Oh, look at that. Now into the shade Swoon. This is that one that kind of gave off like gold to orange vibes. Oh, look at that. I don't think you can quite see it, how beautiful that is. Oh, bringing the fire just into the crease. On a dry brush, we're going to try and finesse the inner corner. Okay, let me go do this eye and some base products and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back to finish off this eye look. These are the same base products I used yesterday. So if you wanna know what I used, they're in the drop down box with clickable links. Now, looking at this eye, I could honestly use some of the green shades because of this right here. I think I might. I'm gonna use this shade Transition, which is a really pretty like green. <laughs> I say green, like a seafoam green. Sometimes I'm really bad with my color names. Okay, I really like that. Now I'm gonna go into Sozzle and I'm gonna see how I can just bring that down to blend it. I'm really hoping that they're cohesive. Is that right here in the outer corner? For the inner corner, I'm gonna use Elatedness. It's kind of a like pale pink shimmer. Ooh, that's a lot of glitter. Ooh, that's really pretty. I kind of like it. For brow bone, that is not what I'm using. I used the Benefit Cookie for my highlighter, so I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. This is very like icy. Something has Dixon triggered. Someone like knocked on the door or the poor mailman. That was who was at the door and Dixon is losing his mind downstairs. That dog thinks he's bigger than he is. He'll calm down, I'm sure of it. For brow bone, I am just using my Benefit cookie. Okay, you guys, let me go ahead, do some brows, liner, mascara, and lips, and I'll be back with the final look. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and this is the final look. I am so excited that I picked up these palettes because they are absolutely stunning. So today we use the Jewels and Gem, and this color story is beautiful. You've got some vibrant shimmers, the greens, the burgundy. They are so beautiful. I'm really glad that I got to play around with both of these palettes. I'm really enjoying this green to orange. 
Now to remind you what we used yesterday, we used the Stone and Rock palette. And this had a lot of the earthy tones with the greens and the browns. The shimmers are absolutely stunning in both of these palettes and I'm really excited to continue to use them, especially the duochrome type of shades where they shift absolutely stunning really like this i love the quality from odin's eye let me know if you're picking up either of these palettes if you're passing let me know down in the comments i'm really excited to know what you guys think of them but you guys that is it for this look that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell for notifications new videos and if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up until my next video you guys bye i'll see you in the next one